Welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So we're in build 0.8.5. We got all of these new factions that have been added, which include the Spooky Faction and the Pirates. We had the Renaissance a while back. There's so many new secret units, none of which came in the new Halloween update, interestingly enough. But in the last video, I asked you guys to leave your challenges in the comments below, and we're gonna be addressing some of those. So while we're going about this, there's different kinds of challenges, and we've got a series of them. I want you guys to be thinking about the next level of challenges that you guys wanna present to me so that I can play. And we've got some pretty cool ones here. We've got Sander Roblox presented this like giant army with a ton of money and I have to use the same amount of budget to try to beat it. We've got Sir Cowley Cactus who presented the challenge where I need to use animal units only. We got Reach Kung Fu with another beat my army. And then Daniel, the Time Lord, who has a challenge of win using only the weakest units. There's a couple other custom battle ideas, but generally, frame your comment and your challenge, or frame your comment as such. If it's a challenge, put challenge and then the rules under it. If it's a custom battle, say custom battle, and then the number of units on each side. If you have something even better, let me know. And if you see one that you like in the comment section below, give it a vote. So the first challenge of the day, and we have a great many, is by Santa Roblox. I'm gonna have to challenge this army. So when you can see in his comment, there's a little bit slight difference in the math because uh, this guy used to be 200 bucks maybe, but now he's 500. There has been some balancing going on. But we've got 10 shields in the front, a samurai giant right behind him, some berserkers, a clam guy to <clears throat> annoy me, two ballista, 20 muskets and three Valkyries. Now, I get to use the same amount of money that is present, so $14,050. Now, this is gonna be an interesting challenge. I have to do my best. I'm gonna give myself three attempts. And if I do it on the first one, I get a gold medal. Second, uh, a second place, a uh, silver medal. And uh, third, bronze. And I have to eat a raw fish, just kidding. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> but I love this one, it got 672 votes. I love to see that much interaction going on, guys. Thank you for the comment. Thank you for the votes. Let's do this. So if I could use anything, he's got muskets. So he's got guys in the back here, right? Now, the advantage to me is I get to go after him. I'm thinking what we want to do is put some cavalry. Actually, preferably, well, can't go too far wide. I can't just be like, I'm gonna put a unit over here. I can. All right, so I went for numerical superiority on this one, which usually does a pretty decent job in tabs. We have $30 less. And so what I realized was maybe we need to use art to conquer the violence of war. And I decided uh, that these guys are great because they will dodge incoming projectiles. We also got some vampires out there, so I'm hoping that my painters will dodge a lot of their musket shots, which is happening. That means the guys behind them are probably gonna get hit, but remember, I have more muskets than he does. We do have to deal with a lot here, and our poor horses were demanded and dethroned here. Clam guy's still out there. But if all of my guys can get a nice a musket salvo here, on the samurai giant? Oh, he's not dead. He ain't dead yet! Gentlemen, stop bunching up, man, one ballista. Okay, that ballista looks like it's damaged. Yeah, we, we should, he's just, he's doing these jumps and he, he's hard to hit. There we go, okay, he's down and we have a few musketmen left. I'm thinking this one looks, it looks like a victory. <laughs> I take the silver medal on this challenge, Sir Sander Roblox. An excellent challenge, 672 votes. It was the most voted for of them all. So this next one is pretty fun. I think we're gonna have to add a custom rule to this, but this is Sir Cowley Cow Cowatus. I thought it was Cactus at first. Animal-like units only. So the snake archer, because he's got the snake. Vampire, because he turns into a bat. Minotaurs, because they're Minotaur. Mammoth, and any other animal specific units only. Now what we're gonna be doing is this campaign. And the idea here is for this challenge, and this one is called the Tree Men, uh, we have to use 
animal only units. Now the clam guy is an animal, so I think that's gonna be really nice. Uh, and then if we lose, we we get as far as we can, right? So we go until we lose, and then we have to restart. Oh, raptors are animals? Heck yeah. Well, I definitely want some clams. They're gonna be my chicken men men. Oh, the monkey king would be a really good animal. So the first level we're gonna be doing it on is hay and pitchfork here. So we got $3,100. I'm gonna go get my clams. I'm gonna want two of these guys, I think. There's a lot of dudes with really heavy armor. You know what? Clams and the Monkey King versus this giant army of uh, farm tool wielding peasants. All right, clammies, you gotta do it. So, did I get my spacing right? I didn't know their range was this low. Oh, they're actually doing a fantastic job. We're gonna win. I mean, it just really depends on how quickly we pump out clams, because it doesn't look like it's enough. And we already lost our main guy? What? All right, we get one mulligan though, right? Because we, we can't just end the challenge like that. Would raptors do better? Ahem, <clears throat> cough, cough, mulligan. For the sake of the video. All right, animals, yeah? Well, this one is gonna be ridden by a man who can use swords and stuff, and uh, I guess it's just a big stick with a pointy rock at the end of it, but you know what? It still counts. And, uh, all right, raptors are doing a job. A good one? I don't know. Well, we can always do this, right? Oh, oh? Guys, I think we can win, look at that. Oh, my poor friend. Eat my clams! That sounds really weird, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that! Okay, there's one guy <laughs> he's getting eaten by the clam. I've never seen it at this, like, angle before. Look at the clam still alive, hey! Yes! Alright, now there's one guy that's, like, stuck under a raptor. I don't know how he's stuck, but look at this, dude. Imagine your last moments on this earth are getting eaten by a shellfish. He, this man was allergic to shellfish, and there, there's someone alive. Hold on. You gotta see this face with the big eyeballs. <laughs> look at those eyeballs, man. Okay, here he is. It looks like he's wearing a shellfish as a helmet. Yes, that actually took quite a few minutes to get the last one. Okay, so we're moving on with Sir Cowley's challenge. Now we've got a lot more of these guys over here. Okay, so it's it's the hobbits. Nothing to see here. And they're hiding in those wheat fields. So I've got to figure out what's the best one to do there. I don't think clams were that good. A mammoth could be real good though. Let's get a mammoth in here. You know, I gotta say that I think right now the clam unit might be one of my more favorites simply because he reminds me of the chicken man man. And we just don't have, it's just crazy to imagine a tabs where there's no chicken man or even a chicken man. Well, no chicken man man, much less a chicken man. All right, so this guy should do a pretty good job at cleaning house, and the clams are just gonna come in here and help him gank these guys. So, he's knocked them behind the wall, and <laughs> look at this. The raptors did a good job disrupting the enemy force. The mammoth, the king daddy mammoth here. He just out here with his sharper tusks. And we move on to the third one. Thank goodness for that mulligan one. So it's called the smallest army. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. We gotta send the raptor charge. That's a really good opening. The littlest big army there is, guess what? They got little guys, we got a big one. We're gonna bring the minotaur in here and just see how good he does. Uh, he's gonna leap into there, he's gonna start messing them. Oh my god. That may have been the most best in- is that a- is that a, word, a good word combination? Most best? What would you say you most best do least? Well, this guy just ran in there and like- there was a shockwave, man. He just knocked all the hobbits all over the place. Okay, so we got some snakes. We got some raptors. We had a vampire. He turned into a bat. So the minotaur is having to do most of the work. He's just grabbing them by the hair and <laughs> he's slinging them around. I think I think a hobbit just flew off into the ozone layer, man. And the snakes are, are doing a good job, like keeping him alive. I guess. I don't know, man. I, I'd be curious to see how much health he has left on him, El Minotaur. But dude, this is this is a good one. Minotaur can stay alive a pretty long time. And some snakes can just kind of like keep biting at the people that are hanging around his ankles, which in this case is a lot of very short and very hairy little people. Hold on. <laughs> 
This is what you love about tabs. Airborne Hobbit! All right. What would you rate his jump out of 10? Well, his landing was very poor, but he got, what, two somersaults in the air? I'd give it a 7.3. Oh, what if you could make a catapult, like our trebuchet, and launch these guys? <laughs> this... No, oh, God. He looks like he's getting ready to break dance. Moving on to the fourth one, we've got bards and... Oh! Uh... This is one of those weird levels. All the bones. Oh, I know how to do this. I think this might work. All right, so there's a lot of bone mages back there, right? Let's have them attack the snakes. There's gonna be a lot of snakes and hopefully a lot of collateral damage and friendly fire due to the bone mages. Oh my gosh. Trying to kill the snakes. <laughs> yes! That was how I imagined it and it actually worked. I'm genuinely surprised. And now there's just one, maybe another one buried. Yeah, yeah, you can tell by the movement that, no, maybe not, okay. There was just an earthquake caused by that? And for this one, still on Sir Cowley's challenge of using animal-like units only- Whoa! Don't distract me! Oh man, that was a really good ambush. I, I didn't see that coming. We got a minotaur and a bunch of, uh, a bunch of archers here. Guys, guys, back up. Don't get slapped. Oh man, there goes my archer line. We got ambushed. We got freaking ambushed. This raptor's doing a good job biting that little hobbit's arm off. Come on, don't go down, raptor! Yeah, run around, run around, distract them, fight them! Fight to the bitter end, my children. All right, that raptor's doing a good job. Holding the line, this minotaur's just knocking them out. And you can see the inevitability on this one. Or can you? Uh-oh, uh-oh, guys, guys. We better win this battle. Yeah, you better fire some snakes, man. They're coming. They're coming! Fire the freaking snakes! <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. We, we bought a little bit of time. The hobbits just don't want to die. So I want to take this moment now. The last Tabs video, we had an ad integration sponsorship. I wanted to communicate with this this with to you guys because uh, I've been working uh, to line up a bunch of sponsorships this holiday season. And it is a goal of mine, and it has been a goal since I've started YouTube and even before, to create a video game. So if you see a sponsored video, and it may not be your thing, or maybe it is, just to realize that we're doing it for a reason. We want to make video games. So it's basically going to the game development budget, so to speak. So I just want to say once again, thank you guys for just supporting me for all of these years, all of these videos, like the people who come out to every video, the when you comment, when you leave challenges on these Taz videos, it is awesome. So I can't thank you enough. So as we watch this giant bear man, bear bull, man bear pig guy just beating up this poor little hairy peasant. Oh, the cute little hobbit. They come in pints. Well, just know that uh, I appreciate you guys. All right, so we're, we're going onwards and we just haven't been beaten yet. We found a pretty good, this one, this one looks challenging. I don't know the best animal to use because I can't afford a woolly mammoth and I can't afford a minotaur. If I send in a horse, uh, I don't know if we're, and maybe a clam. This might be the end of days for us. All right, Mr. Clam Man, we'll put him a little further back. So the jouster needs to go through and just wreck everybody. Please don't fall off the cliff. Oh my God. We we were that close to being defeated. And hey, goodbye there, Junior. <laughs> Oh, you can't hold your breath that long, can you? Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Oh, he just headbutted us. How? Oh, come on. We're seriously still in this one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we might not be. There's one clam to help him, but there's two guys in- Oh my god. He just got a collateral. Only dual wielders, huh? Only raptor riders for me and raptors. I think they're gonna win. I think they're gonna win handily. What we did, the charge of the last samurai, Tom Cruise is leading our last samurai tribal warriors of the tribal faction. Chieftains are such good damage dealers. Pound for pound, they gotta be one of the best. And we have suffered a defeat. We have finally gone down to Sir Cowley's challenge, animal-like units only. Sir Cowley's comment, by the way, 448 votes. You guys are killing it. Oh my goodness. So this one got 180 votes. It's King, it's, it's Reach Kung Fu. Beat my army. And his army consists of 10 shields, two scarecrows, two potion sellers, 10 raptor riders, one of which is listening to some music that is apparently amazing. We have 10 pirate queens, 10 reapers, 
and 30 balloon archers. I mean, are you kidding me? And he said if I want to include one halfling because he's OP, well, you know what? You're going to get a halfling. I get $64,000 to use. Okay. You know what? I'm going to give this one one go. I've got 64850 but I think I have the benefit of choosing after, which is pretty cool. I went for a lot of berserkers. I'm going to have to rely heavily on the berserkers to distract as many of these units as is possible to buy me enough time. And I'm really hoping that my backline... We've got muskets. We've got... A, I believe these are the exploding cannonballs. And more muskets. Some Chuko new here. And we even got some Da Vinci tanks. Because why not? So we're going to have to watch this one on slow motion. So Reach Kung Fu, thank you for the challenge. You guys gave this 180 upvotes. 180 votes to be chosen... Now, what we're really worried for is the Pirate Queens and the Reapers. I'm really hoping that my muskets do a good job at destroying the Reapers, right? Uh, Artemis is gonna have to be doing their thing, firing tons of arrows. This has to be played on slow motion, I remind you, because the frames are just absolutely terrible because of the number of units, the sizes, and all of their just absolutely ridiculous abilities. My Frost Giant is getting shot a ton of times by my own Artemis, and I'm not entirely sure why my Artemises are doing that. We got balloon archers all over the place, so it doesn't look like any berserkers. We have one jousting lance. It's called a lance hello back there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look at this. Okay, so the pirate queens are gonna be tough to be taken out. They, they got their bombing thing, and unfortunately for me, they're getting really close to my firing lines. So we're gonna speed this one up now. I don't know, I really like this challenge just cause it's like, it's just a huge army. $64,000. Okay. My front line did exactly what it needed to. Other, other, unless you count this. Well, she did. That pirate queen is down. We've got one left. I think we've got, since we've got more we have a lot more range units, including some exploding cannons. Now, as long as there's no friendly fire there. Fire! Oh, these poor guys are getting absolutely wrecked, dude. They got a Da Vinci tank coming down. They've got musket balls pouring in. Artemis is back there, and if she's, she's wanting to line up shots. It looks like she just missed. And boom! Musket ball to the heart. So thank you, Reach Kung Fu, for your challenge suggestion, sir. So now we come along another kind of like campaign challenge. Here's a challenge for you by Daniel the Time Lord. Win using only the weakest units in each faction. This one got 83 upvotes. Remember, when you look down in the comments right now, if you're not gonna leave a comment of your own, which is fine, just find like two or three that you think are awesome and give them a vote. Ones that you'd like to see in the next video. So we're gonna go to the campaign. We're going to the adventure. So this is where we ended, right? So we have to use only the weakest unit. Now, we get to choose between any of these, right? But if you look at this, this is bread and butter. So this is actually gonna be an interesting challenge. We're gonna have to go weakest unit against them. Okay, I think we actually use the new spooky faction because we can cause their army to retreat. Now we may want some good warriors and I feel like squires are pretty good pound for pound. All right, so the idea here is hopefully we get the first hit, we scare them and we disrupt their formation. They run all over. Some of them decide to run off the cliff like this long-necked lass here. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> and that's the strategy. So we're gonna use, what, the weakest unit of any and all faction. So thank you, Daniel the Time Lord. Oh! <laughs> you gotta love the bridge with the water. This was designed perfectly. So when this challenge was up, and look, we come on, come on. Oh, we're starting to get some, we're getting smashed a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh no, okay, they scared them. I need these guys to run off the cliffs and die. Not almost die, but actually die. Okay, we got rid of one. This is gonna be real tough. We got a sword guy fighting a shield, dude, so we should be able to win that one. Get up, sir. Please get up. I need you. I need you, sir! <laughs> he's the worst sword fighter ever. This is why he's a squire and not a knight. He went to like night school and he just failed out, man. All right, we scared this guy, run off the cliff. Yes! <laughs> this is beautiful! Oh my god, I love it! Fall to your death. Ugh, he just broke his kneecaps. This guy's trying to hide. Yo, dude, if this is hide and seek, well, 
You ever play hide and seek from a skeleton? Oh! <laughs> That's gotta be victory. Oh my god, beautiful. See, this is the fun part about the challenges that you guys create is we get into scenarios that like in ideas that I wouldn't have imagined myself. We have a whole community of ideas and I want to hear yours. All right, so these guys are all damage dealers, right? Well, we're gonna need a line of hobbits for sure. Ooh, samurai or painters. Flintlocks are cool. Okay, because the flintlocks got some range. So that might help us a little bit. And I think we need some headbutters to go in front. So the headbutters and the hobbits are gonna do a real good job disrupting the enemy line. And you know what? Some skellies are always good. I don't know if they're gonna scare them, but <laughs> I'm expecting... Oh, I forgot they had berserkers. So the flintlock guys probably won't do too well. My giant, beautiful formation has already crumbled to the ground. Oh my god, I, I really don't want to die here. These, these chieftains are like the units you want to chop up chaff. All right, we're, we're calling the mulligan. I get one mulligan for each of them. So that did not work at all. <laughs> not at all. All right, I've got a few skellies here, but I needed a line of squires. All right, we've got some people afraid. Now we should be able to hack them, right? We're kind of like running into each other. Are we winning this one? Honestly, it doesn't look like it. It's anyone's game if you're not me, unfortunately. <laughs> or maybe our guys are just knocked on the ground more? Yeah, dude, no way did we just happen to run. Now, for the sake of the argument and of the challenge... Oh, look at this. It's like a little dog bone rolling around the ground. Look at it. Where are you going? Is there a secret dog unit in the game? Over here? <laughs> I wish. And there goes my hopes and dreams. So this is a scythe of scythes. We've fallen to Daniel the Time Lord's challenge, and now we're just gonna accept our place. This man's like, I'm trying to poop, but there ain't no toilet, so I'm gonna poop off the edge of the map. Hold on, man, don't, don't look at me, I'm, I'm over here. And then he, <laughs> it happened. Okay, so I'm setting up for this battle, and look, we got a mini, we got a mini hoplite. He's gotta go in the battle now. So this one comes in from Lyrical Master 09. It got 120 votes. It is the custom map idea of the castle. Now, I think since I have to beat his army. So see, Lyrical Master got a lot of votes. It's funny because he's like, ah, sorry, I suck at ideas. So I think that self-deprecating humor got a lot of votes. So all we gotta do is say like, fi finish this one up with like, hey, beat my army. So he's got 17,200 units, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just go all... All right, so $17,200 on the right versus $17,120 on the left. We have to beat Lyrical Master's army. Oh, and somehow I forgot about Artemis. So I'm really hoping some of our catapults here are gonna be able to bounce, because remember that the Halloween catapults bounce and they bring the enemy with them. Come on. Oh, okay, it, it kind of got close. The Swordmasters are doing real, real good, but I think once Artemis starts taking them out, there's only seven of them, right? So eventually they're gonna fall. All oh, these kings are doing a real good job soaking up damage. The catapults are here, but we still have to defeat Artemis. If we don't take out Artemis, yes! Okay, now what if we had... So that was with the Spooky Faction. Let's try it one more time with the Pirates, since they're the new guy. Exactly, 17,200 versus 17,200. All pirates, all the time. And I'm really hoping those cannons, which I think maybe did a little bit too much friendly fire, but so is Artemis. Artemis, you are a bad teammate sometimes. Artemis is like, hey man, if there's if there's people in front of me, I'm shooting. Oh, Artemis, you know, you know you get you know you dead. <laughs> Alright. And this kind of goes into Baku Bakuhatsu Foxy's idea, where it's like, do faction wars like in the old days. So I'm basically doing factions only against these challenges. So let's go to the Renaissance. This is gonna be interesting. Just a charge of the light brigade and then all muskets. Now we're 50 bucks over, so I guess we're gonna need some painters. There we go. Cavalry! Charge! Now, some of you will definitely get taken out, but don't worry. Hopefully, you'll do something to disrupt, at the very least, the enemy formation. And then, hopefully, our muskets are able to do enough. Okay, they've got a king and... I almost said Odysseus. No, wrong Greek uh, hero of lore. This one is Artemis. Artemis took some musket balls, and she's dead. So, guys, thank you once again for watching an episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Remember... I want your challenges, 
and your custom battle ideas in the comments below. If you see them, you know, ones that you like, make sure to give them an upvote, and I'll see you guys in the next video.